Hey! Today I'm going to show you how to use Illustrator to create your own backsplash backgrounds that can be used for sublimation printing or pretty much any crafting project. They're really easy and fun to do. So first I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to just open a whole new file. Let's go to new and then we're going to make sure our width is set to 12 inches and our height is 12 inches. You can also go to more settings and make sure you're in RGB color mode and that your raster effects are at a high 300 dots per inch. Okay, so now we have our artboard set up. You want to add a shape. Use the rectangle tool. Okay. Add a rectangle. I want a a solid fill, no outline. Okay, now, oh, don't do that. We're going to add the background. So you go to File and then Place, and then I'm going to use one of my tie-dye papers. Let's do this one. And you place it. Okay, now you're going to hit your selector tool and arrange the size of this over the top of the square. Now you can do any shape for your backgrounds. My papers are really big, so it's taking a while. Okay, first you will want to send this to the back. <laughs> arrange, send to back. Now, select everything, right click, and make clipping mask. And there you go. Fills your pattern. Okay, you can also do this with any shapes that you have created. I'm going to grab one of my background templates here. I'm going to go with this one. It's my most popular. I'm going to copy it and paste and adjust the size. Okay, and then you're going to add the background paper just as we did before by selecting file and place. Pick the paper, adjust the size, and then right click and arrange center back. You want your shape to be on top. Select all and make clipping mask. There you go. That is how I make my backsplash bundles. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.